Jean. And I'm Vanity. And I'm very excited because today Vanity is going to teach me how to fish. Yes. For years you have provided me with give a man a fish, sure. feed him yeah. for a day. Teach, teach a man, man to fish, fish, feed him for life. life. Okay. So to, thus far in my life, Vanity has been feeding me day by day gorgeous, glorious wigs. Does this mean that that's it now? Like no, I'm done? No. I'm not a hook? No. I'm not a fish anymore. I'm like, not a fish doing, anymore. Uh, everything yourself. <laughs> no. This is more that... No. No. Vanity is going to teach me, teach this man how to fish. Uh, man. man. Uh, uh, guys. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Now, Brenda, you don't have to... Go. You don't have to fish every time. No. You can still come to the the the, the fishmonger. Fish <laughs> oh, that sounds like a dirty word, doesn't it? <laughs> I've never mongered fish. <laughs> Vanity's going to teach me how to style a wig because sometimes I'll be on the road and I'll need to freshen up my wig or like style a wig, just like. And I think like a glamorous wave. Basic. Looks basic, good. Yeah, I look good, I look good, good, good in it. So it she's going to show me how to do a basic glamorous wave on this lovely, what's her name? This is your Bardot. This is my Bardot. Now, I, we, we, I have dumbed it down a little bit for you. Thank you. Um, just because, you know, you're never going to have to do the, the difficult wigs yourself. No. I'm going to do all that stuff for you. But we wanted something really basic. So this is actually a wig that we usually use for you up. Mm -hmm. It's got layers in it. Um, it's, it doesn't have any tracks in it, like it's a full lace, so it's, it's not overly thick, which is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, in drag wigs, we want the thicker the better, really, because it means, you know, more hair. Um, but we have chosen this one specifically because it has got less hair in it, which mm -hmm. means that it's less for you to do and less for you to potentially... Screw up. Screw up. <laughs> I'm going to show you some basic techniques, yeah. some lovely tools that we have. We're going to be using these gorgeous revamp tools. Ooh. Oh, revamp. We're going to be using these revamp tools, which are a London brand that have launched in Australia. And they're, um, you know, they're made by professionals in the, the hair industry. And they've made them so that we simple folk at home, the ordinary people, the ordinary people such as myself, will be able to achieve a professional result. Mm. This is, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna double fist it a little bit, okay? Oh, okay. So we're going to double fist it and... <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about the next tool, but let's not. Let's keep it clean. So today we've got two tools. We've got the blow dry brush, which is actually really fabulous. Wonderful. I've tried another version of this from another company and I didn't like it at all. But this is great. This actually is really good. But I think we're going to use this one today and we're gonna make give you a beachy, beachy, because you like the, it's like this curl, like this beachy curl. I think it's really easy for you to do yourself, it looks kind of messy mm -hmm. deliberately, so it's kind of perfect for you. You know what else this is good for? when I want to style my root and wig. Yes. Because yes. I always feel like asking Vanity to style a root and wig, you know, she's got better things to do. So maybe I can style my own rooting wigs. Maybe you can. Okay, yeah. good. We've got that on camera. Yeah. You all heard that, right? You can use the blow drying brush on any wig or hair. Yeah, this will work on heat. As long synthetic. as it's heat safe synthetic. This is a, a heat setting. The so you can... other one you'll want to test. Do a little test patch first. Once it's hot, see, make sure if it's a synthetic wig, mm. make sure that it can take the heat. Yeah, make sure it can hit, take the heat. Yeah. <laughs> you can't take the heat, get off the street. <laughs> now something that I have watched happen before is that to me, this wig is ready to curl, but to a professional, actually, you need to blow dry it to get all the cuticles going in the yeah. same, same direction. On, on, a, on a head of human hair, absolutely, that's what you do, but, but wigs, you know, we're deep diving into wigs, sometimes the cuticle isn't going in the same direction, oh. So, but I would do it anyway just to give yourself the best possible sort of foundation for the styling mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. in each style. So for your wigs, usually, we always um, prepare them by putting products in them and then blow drying them smooth. But with this, it does it all in one. It does it all for you. It does it all in one. So we're going to do this first. Yeah. Do we need to section? We need to section. But then we are going to go and move on to and do a tong. Yeah. So we're going to finish that style, this style, yeah. with a tong. Okay. Now this tong, do I want to tell yeah. about yeah. this one? Well, this one is, you know how normally when you've got a hot tong, you've got like, a conical one and a thick one oh, got, and a wavy I've got, one. I've got 30. I've yeah. got 30 tongs. 30 different tongs. Whereas this, you just have one handle and then the attachments just clip in like that. Isn't that smart? Here. So that's that one. So this. So this one. We have, we're, we're doing our best to not, not 
<laughs> make any jokes about this attachment and we're, not, we're keeping it clean we're, we're keeping it clean we're keeping it clean y'all <laughs> I'm trying really hard. It's really hard. See, it's hard for you. I know. Yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, but I feel like getting offended at other people I'm to not... say guys. Ah, oh, ah, oh, guys. Anyway, so yeah, you just clip on the attachment like this. Now this is for a beachy wave. A beachy wave, yeah. Yeah, and the good thing about this wave, especially for you, is that it's it's it, it already looks messy. Like this curl here is what we would consider a beachy wave. Okay. You know what I mean? So it doesn't have to be a perfect ringlet. It can be a bit organic. It can go in different directions. So it's harder to, to screw, screw up. it up. Okay. So we're going to do that. This does come with a multiple of different um, attachments. Mm -hmm. um, I just have two. but oh, There's ten of them in total. Them. First of all, I'm gonna bring around a trolley. Mm. Okay, okay, now you are on your, you're on your own. Here you go, Okay, do it. I'm gonna section. So, oh, I wish I wasn't wearing sticky fingernail tabs. I think you should take your nails off. Do you, do you, do you will you feel? Um, I'll see how it go. Okay, well, you, what, what are you doing? I was making a section. Yeah, nah, nah I'll show you how to make a good section. Okay. <laughs> so just section the, the front out first. And this is the thing when doing your hair at home as well for yourself. When you've got the full head of hair, mm. it does, it is a bit overwhelming because it's like mm. you think, oh my god, but if you just take the sections and, and make it bit each bit section. Bit piece by piece. So we'll take the front out first because that makes it easier. <laughs> so <laughs> the Colton helmet. <laughs> the thing that I really like about this brush, which is different to other brushes, you know, similar that I've, that I've used, is it's got those, see those little short bristles? Mm -hmm. You see the little short, little short bristles there? <laughs> little short bristles? <laughs> um, and that really does help grip the hair, uh -huh. so you can get it really smooth. Um, so, all you need to do is put it in, and then give it a little turn, and then just pull it through like that. Okay? I'll give you a little demonstration. I haven't it turned on. it on yet. Oh. Haven't turned it on yet. Okay. It's so quiet! Turning it to go down. And if you turn it, you can you can grip it a bit more like that. Okay. 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 That's all you gotta do. You make it look really easy. Well, we'll see. Oh. You make oh. it look really easy. It I guess is really that's easy. what 25 years in the biz. Yeah. Does okay, so I'm going to turn it on. And there's also a little little thing for you here that you can hold. Okay. So as you turn it, you can hold that to keep control of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I would get both sections. God, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my life! I've been waiting to be free! <laughs> Fine. Oh. Um, I'd always... The, the, uh, when, with this amount of hair, mm -hmm. you don't have tension because it's not, not enough hair to catch in there. But as you go through, you'll get more hair mm -hmm. and it'll feel sort of tighter. Okay. Okay? So, that's one section. Now we just go to the next section. Oh, God, I'm bored. <laughs> This is the thing I don't like about hair. This, this is, is so much of and it. And you don't realise how much work is involved. Like when I did that video of you doing a Grecian, you're like, oh, that's the how is this? Yeah, that every week takes ages. I know, I guess it's because like when I'm in the UK, like Chris just turns up when I start my makeup and just blow, dr blow dries it, curls it. But like those obviously like the Grecian hair and things like yeah, this are a bit more elaborate. More elaborate. Yeah. Yeah. Works of art. Works of art. So do you have to take just the section? Like do you leave the bit you've done? I, what I do yeah. is um, and you you do that in half. Don't try and don't try and overwhelm yourself with two big sections. Okay. So so that's your, that's your next section. You do exactly the same thing. So what you want to do? You want more of the action of like you want to like roll it and sort of feel it lock in. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then you can keep and you go out. Um, or down or? It, okay, so here's the thing about hair. There are a lot of factors. If you want lots of volume, you go up and around or up. Mm -hmm. If you want it really smooth and sleek, you go down. Mm -hmm. So, but we're just, I, what you're doing is, is great. You just need to like put it in and just keep turning because as you're turning constantly it. turning it, you'll keep the tension okay. and that'll keep the thing. But why don't we make it a bit diffi more difficult? Okay, well, here's something that we're going to put in, um, which I should have added before. 
I don't like, we're doing wigs, you know, like this is specifically for Courtney's wigs. Now, I prefer to work on dry wigs, like let a wig dry naturally, because it's a lot of, a lot of um, tension on all the knots and the hair itself to take a wig from wet to dry. Uh -huh. So that's Even though this wig is dry, we're still blow drying it because we're smoothing it. We're smoothing it. But you can as well put some water in it uh -huh. or some heat spray. Heat protectant. Heat protectant spray. Okay, so then, then we just keep working our way up. Okay. so weird. I find it very unnerving setting, setting <laughs> by and watching you do my work. <laughs> oh, look at it. Wow. Multi-dextrous. Yeah, it's I'm versatile. So to answer your question before about what about the bottom parts, mm -hmm. so what I would do now that you've got this much hair is I would just do a little section, a cross uh, section like this. Yeah and I'll take it all, and then just do the same thing. Like, I mean, that's, that's, that's very simple. But you've already gotten, like, some style in there, some mm -hmm. direction, mm -hmm. and that's all you need. That already looks like... So smooth, so like, glossy. And how's better. This is easy, isn't it? Because it's not hard. No. No, but like, I'm not doing something well, I'm just doing something easy. Yes, yeah. correct. You're doing really well. Thanks, Brenda. Normally you would do this with a big round brush and a blow dryer and you'd have to do all of that. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really hard. Yeah, I'm looking for, we're not hard, but you know. I'm looking forward to using this. This is perfect for what we do. Mm. They'll be like, I'll use this all the time for your wigs. Oh, great. Basically. Oh. Oh, Rachel, look at that. <laughs> I'm basically a professional hairdresser. It is funny watching someone who doesn't handle hair. Mm -hmm. Like, just, just even just your relationship with hair mm -hmm. is interesting to see. That relationship with hair I was just talking about is actually like makes your these tools so much better for you because you're not having to it takes it takes one element of the styling process out of it which is the handling of the tools as well because if this is a traditional blow dryer you have two hands mm. doing two different things yeah see how here is a little bit like wavy mm. so what i would do like, oh, i'll show you is just gives you you do it you do you, it he likes you it's like, just by going in and taking that section mm -hmm. and doing that at the front, because as you're going this way, these are like vertical lines, mm -hmm. but you need like a little horizontal section to smooth that front out. Can you do that forward? Yeah, I'll roll it. Okay, so now what I would do, yes. just to finish off the look, we can go in and we can just look at, you see how the back we've still got some like, a couple of ridges here? Mm -hmm. So we'll probably go in and just redo that. Do a little bit more on the ends to give them a more of a you know, kick under. And then we'll go through and just do the front again, just to make sure the front's all nice. See, we do almost, almost as easy as a, like a brush. Yeah. Yeah. Also, imagine, like, I know we're doing this on a wig block right now, but imagine, I can't imagine trying to do hold a brush and like that. I, I know that, like, I see people on TV. Yeah. But this, you just like. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Even with my length hair, my natural hair, it's like it's difficult with a brush, mm. and that is just like. <laughs> okay, so. Done. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so should we move on to the tong? The hot poker. Let's flick it on. Yep. 
So we're going to section the hair as we... What does it say? Twist? Oh, oh there's, a, there's a feature. There's a play feature. Are you ready? Oh. And that is so you can like angle oh. it. And you can do it on your own hair. And you're not like, because it's really like getting in there and like trying to like get the yeah. right angles. But that is like, like ah. really ingenious. I, I, that's a really good feature. So let's practice on. Come on, it's not hot. So let's pretend this is the tongue. So you want to hold on to the, don't let go of your, your left hand. Left hand. You, all you're doing is you're just moving it down the section as you go around. So as you go around the barrel of the tong, you want to twist. So wrap around and then twist. And that twisting action is what is going to give you your beachy wave. Now you you are physically twisting, but really what you're doing, you're just re-angling your hand around, like to mm -hmm. move it around. You're actually just, just, just sliding the, the section of the hair through, oh, I'm stuck on my nail through your fingers right. in a twisting motion, okay? So, and we're going to try and twist into those grooves. Ah. You don't have to. I think you oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> extreme close-ups. Um, you want an extreme close-up? That's an extreme close-up. Close twist, twist, twist. And how many do you count to? Oh, twist. Um, one. Well, I actually like want to feel the hair. I usually count to 10 Mississippis. It's hard nails. Oh, bitchy wave. Oh, wow. Do you start all the way at the root? Yeah, about there is good for you. Yeah, I'd say. And then come down. Just where it falls, yeah. You did it. Uh, you'll get better. One more go. It was my first one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I forgot that. I forgot we were just learning. I forgot this is TAFE. Yeah. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to Vanity's TAFE classes. What was the matter with that one? That one looked good to me. It's a bit, it is a bit soft. It's the finesse you can't teach. Yeah. Soft as in I didn't heat it for long enough? Maybe, yeah. See, I always like to touch it. And feel when when the hair's, hair's too hot on the top, it's yeah, that's nice, pretty. And do you unroll it? What's the best? Just release it. Just release it, yeah. And there are different way, different sort of methods of like direction of the the, the, the curl and things like that. But I think just for for you, it's for lesson one. Lesson one, it's, it's just getting the technique right because this is kind of a fail-safe technique. Any idiot can do it. Yeah, that's nice. Are oh, you getting the hang of it now? Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. You're a quick learner. Oh, thanks, Brenda. I feel like I've got a bit of a curly bit in there, but... but oh. like, oh, yeah. you get out. You're not welcome here. And the bigger the section, the softer the curl. Right. Yeah, but you've got less control. And you want to do the least to touch it once it falls out because you want it to cool down yep. first. Mm -hmm. How far down can you go? Can you go to that one? Yeah. And does it matter if I go like this or like this? Nah, not this. Hmm. Not completely useless, you know. <laughs> I think don't worry too much about getting into the groove. Just, just go, you know, get into the groove. Just, just go down. But yeah, and the more you do it, the, the sort of, the more familiar you get with how long to leave it and how big the section and like it just it becomes very natural and very easy. Oh, your winding technique is fabulous. Done a really good job. Anytime Vanity gives me a compliment on something like hair or makeup or an outfit, the inner child in me. <laughs> Like, like you can say like, oh, that was really good about like anything. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool, thanks. But if it's like hair or makeup, I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like a small child and me crying <laughs> for the gold star. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we just go through and we do the next section. Yep, the next section. This bit? 
Yep, the top. Then do you do them all the same way? It doesn't, or it doesn't matter? At the moment, it doesn't matter. Um, but we will, when we get to the front, it will matter. Okay. And the end of it is cool to touch, mm. which I've definitely, that's not always the case. Often the end is searingly oh, yeah, hot, hot, which is, this is good because you can just rest your finger on it if you need to. That looks gorgeous. It's a little, little, little shaken. Mm, yeah. Look at that. Oh. oh. Well, that is gorgeous. Yeah. You could easily do that on your own. Yeah. We just did, but like, you know, unattended. So let's start with this side. Mm-hmm. Check a little section there. Yep, perfect. Yep. And we are going to do this rolling towards the front. Okay. Okay, so. Is that two sections? That is two sections, yep. So you want to hold that downwards. Yep. And then, and, that. Then, and then you go down, you roll that way. Like this. Yes, correct. Oh. Get me flaps out of the way. My flaps are down and I'm ready for takeoff. We should call this video, Teach a Man to Fish. I don't know if it's your ability to learn fast or that it's really good tools. Hmm. <laughs> I think I think I think that it's really good tools. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh. It's like going to the gym with a personal trainer. Mm. If I have to do this unattended, if you weren't here, if there wasn't a camera, mm. I wouldn't feel nearly as motivated to do my own hair. <laughs> <laughs> there was this one time. Um, I went to, I was in Scotland and had this gorgeous outfit that was all like a black and white tartan with like blue payettes on it and I forgot oh, that's to right. pack a wig. So I got to the gig and I just had no wig and I was like, oh my gosh, what can I do? And thankfully I was in Scotland so there was lots of tartans and I found a scarf in the exact same black and white tartan print and then I went to a wig shop and bought a clip-in fringe. But it was bang. like, yeah, clipping bangs. But it was like a, um, oh, oh. but it was like an old lady wig shop. Not like there was no, it wasn't like, it, wasn't. it was like hundreds of dollars for the clipping bang. It was human hair, though, wasn't it? I, th I don't. I, I don't know. It was human hair. Maybe. I think, I think it was human hair. Hundreds, hundreds of pounds. Hundreds of thousands of pounds. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually really worked. I can't believe you did that. That's actually like one of my worst nightmares to like arrive somewhere and realize you don't have a key element yeah. to what your job requires. Well, it's like that time at Burning Man when I never got my bags, but I had my wig and I had my makeup in my carry-on. And so, and then every like Chakra lent me a dress and some jewelry, <laughs> like everybody lent me everything and I ended up doing like borrowed drag. We were actually gonna cheat and I was just gonna like style one bit and then Vanity was gonna like do the rest, use the magic of television. But a combination of the fact that I'm having fun, probably because I'm doing well, and because because the tool is so easy to use, that actually I've styled this whole wig. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's not, if you were struggling, if you were like, oh, I'll be like, come on, I'll, I'll, let me, you know, let's yeah. just use the magic TV. Yeah. And, um, but you know what, you're doing a great job. Don't try this at home. No, dude. <gasps> Do try this at home. How? Not that bit. Not the bit where you singe your fingertips off. Oh, oh. oh there's a glove. Oh, there's a glove. Oh. Bye bye, nails. See, I put that, out, I got that out, and I was like, oh, we don't need that. Because I don't you need, don't I need, need that. that. But you don't need that. We just proved that you need I that. I just proved. Well, oh, actually, I've never seen. Try it, hold it. See if it works. I mean, you wouldn't be able to do that. No, but like, you can stop you from giving a. Yeah, I wouldn't hang on to it. Yeah. Would but it's get... definitely not burning me. Would you get I a casserole touch? out of the oven with it? Uh, <laughs> well, that's very hot. Very I'd hot. have to be very quick because, like, you yeah. can't hold on to it for like. Ouch. Okay. All right. Well, so no, I wouldn't get a casserole out of the <laughs> oven. How's that glove going? Is it better? Yeah. I oh, no oh. risk of burning myself. Oh. Yeah. 
Is there anything else in that box? Yeah, that... yeah I think so. Look, oh, there's a mat. Oh, there's a mat as well. Ah, oh. oh, this is genius. Oh. You won't burn your kitchen, your bathroom bench or wherever you're styling it. Or your hands. Or your hands. They've thought of everything at Revamp. If I have summer hair on the road, I'll be coming to this video to watch yeah. <laughs> which direction I put it in. Yeah, I would have just burnt my hand off then that I not had the glove on. Well, now you can really appreciate the glove. I really appreciate the glove, yeah. I did it deliberately. Burn me once. Shame on you. Burn me twice. Get a glove. Get a glove. I guess you could listen to a podcast while styling a wig. To a podcast. To Brenda Call Me, our, our, podcast. our podcast. And here we are at the last section. Oh, sorry. Ah, Did I ah, should have been wearing the glove. Oh. <laughs> no love, no glove. No glove, no love. As you can see, it was a time lapse. You can go and watch it in slow motion. I did all of this myself. You did. Oh my god, you're getting there. So close to the end. Now, what I want you to do is just take a little bit of this product. The gloves are coming off. Oh. Rub it into your hand. Okay. And then just go. Finger it through. Yeah. Yeah. What's that product? Like, what sort of a product is it? This is a moisture product. Okay. So do this, put it on your hand again, and now, now go over the top all the way, like. Like, but fingering through it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm just pretending, I'm just pretending like this is what I would say you do. Yeah, yeah. That's to get the product You in, can't no? be afraid of the hair. You cannot. <sighs> Look what you did. Look you at what I off. did. I curled a wig. Ah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Naughty hair. Oh. Uh. Okay, sure. Unblock it for you. Yeah, all right. Okay. And I'll take this one off. Yeah. PRB. All right. Here I am. Has the wig. I'm going to put it on. Dearly's only wearing natural glow on one leg today. Can you spot the difference? Oh, Brenda, that was great. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm yeah. beautiful. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, that is, that's actually, you, you got it. Got it in one. Yeah. So, Today, to recap, we used this revamp blow dry, tool. blow dry brush to smooth, and then this revamp that makes it really easy because the grooves are there, and you just have to put the hair in the groove. Because normally, when I do it, if I well, because when I've tried it before, the hard thing is I don't know, you just I just don't know. Whereas this is like, oh yeah, you go there, 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 there. there. and then it gives you a nice like the wave is the same. Everything. Yeah, depth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me. Oh. Aww. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks um, for being taught. Ah, oh, yeah. C taught and Courtney. Taught and caught. <laughs> taught the act. Court gets taught. Ah. Oh. Court gets taught to fish. <laughs> <laughs> See, taught a man to fish today. Oh, like, leave you, leave oh. you to your own. Look at that. I did that. You did that. That's you. It's all you. It's all me.
little bit, little bit of me. Oh, it's such a pleasure to teach you. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be your student, to oh. be under the, the fine guidance of your tutelage. Mm. Thanks, it was Brenda. Privilege, thank you. All right. Oh. And thanks, oh. Revan. Thanks, Revan. Oh. Oh. I just, I'm taking the wig off now. I just realised I'm the woman on the box. Me before on that wig. Look at that. It's me.